Shout out Car Car, everybody! Woo! Johnny Long here, Johnny Lee Long, and my boy in the back, you know that's Hootie. Hootie, what's up, bo? What up, man? He gave me a high five without moving his hands. That's my boy right there! Alright, today, check it out, y'all. It's not a lick day yet. It's coming, though. Today, this is a sub bass. Look at it really, really good. See, it's a sub. It says, Music Man Sub. Alright, so, I did something really, really different with this bass. It went through the Hobo Depot, so it's all beautiful looking. And it's got war paint. I love war paint! I love war paint! I love you, girl. So, it's got the maple on maple neck. And black pit guard. And if you look closely, it has a set of EMGs in it. Active. And, and that's the Seymour Dunking. And it's got a Bartolini preamp in it, which has push-pull mids. I like that part. Then it has the front pickup and then the rear pickup on the bottom. And then it has the bass, which is on the bottom right there, and treble. And then it has a black bridge. All right. But I got another bridge coming, so that's going to be even sweeter. Sweet. All right, so basically it's a 9-volt thing happening. Uh, the Bartolini is really, really impressive to me, all right? I don't do a lot of Barts, but this one is really, really impressive. So, check it out. All right, so we're going to go turn everything off. No bass. Oh, I'm coming through my LA-12, my SWR Combo LA-12. I love this thing, man. I, yo, it's old, and it stood the test of time, and I love it. I do. Okay, so anyway, um, so we're going to start with the front pickup first. And the front pickup is active. That's what you need to know about, about act, putting active with passive pickups. Um, there's going to be a difference, right? The difference is the active pickup at the very top end of the gig would, uh, well, top end of the bass, would actually take over the non-active pickup, all right? You can hear the non-active pickup. It won't be as strong as the active pickup. And there you have it. So anyway, we're going with the P bass first. I got everything down low. I got I'm using Dia Dario strings, um, nickels. That's all I use. And I also use pure blues, which is a Victor Wooten string. Now this P pickup is very clean, very articulate, very clean. It's the most amazing sounding pickup. All right, so let's go to the rear pickup. See, when everything is off, it sounds pretty much even, almost. The rear pickup is a little lighter in the butt. Okay, but if you turn, all right, so, so while we got the rear pickup on, let's turn the mids to detent. Detent! Me personally, when it comes to a, to a um, most amazing sounding set of pickups for the rear, I think the other of Demaz Demaz Seymour Duncan's are the the most. I went through like eight names before I got to it. This is a Seymour Duncan. See it? I love that pickup. In a in a Lakeland, this pickup kills. In this bass. This pickup kills. So we got the mids at D10. And we also have the rear pickup. So now let's go treble at D10. Now I'm not a hard player. And these strings are laying right on the neck. Right on the neck. No buzz. Okay. So let's go bass D10. <laughs> we still have the rear pickup. Now the amp, I got it set. I can't I couldn't set it flat because the bass is too powerful for that. So I had to set it at 10 o'clock. Everything is at 10 o'clock. And just think if I was on like a, a super 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 big rig. Like a two a two one twelves or a two twelve, 
and a great head and and a four ten. Man, you guys be like this. Come on, Johnny, turn it down, dude. Okay. <laughs> Listen to that beat. Yep, yep, I like it. All right, so so now let's turn the the front pickup and mix that in a little bit with the rear pickup. So here we go. There you go. So it sounds like the front pickup is almost taking over. But you can hear the rear pickup kicking in. But baby, when you say piano, that's what this is. Now, if I kick the front pickup all the way open like this, you hear the rear pickup, you hear? Um, the, the P pickup is taking over. But the rear pickup is still on. And you're just getting a, a good mixture of P slash Music Man. You just got to really put your ear Because here's the P by itself. This is the P with everybody in it. Now the P is much stronger on the bottom, watch. Now I ain't touched the bottom of the bass yet. You hear it? Now if I put both of them, both of them back in again. Now, if I kick the bass all the way open like this, woo! Let's take take the P the P off and just hear the um the music man. Now let's open up the mid all the way. Slap it back down while it's still on all, all the way. Watch this. Now, if I open the treble all the way, check this out. Check it out when I open up both of them. Check it out. Now, if I pull back on the, the front pickup, the two P's a little bit, check it out. Check it out. Now, if I 
pull back a little bit more. Now if I take the mid and pull it back a little bit. Now if I take the mids and pull them all the way back, you get this. Now, if I take the mids and pull them up all the way while they backwards, you get this. Now, if I open up the P all the way, with the rear all the way, you get this. Day. All right, so basically let's pull the uh, mids, let's cut the mids all the way down, push it back down, and let's cut everything back to detent. Let's cut the front pickup back to detent, and then the rear pickup back to detent. Let's see what we got. Okay, so let's turn the uh, let's turn the the rear pickup all the way once again. Now here's the catch: if that rear pickup was active with that front pickup, they would be even. The problem is that front pickup is active and the rear pickup is passive, so the active is always going to overtake. It sounds like it's really is. It sounds like it is really not even, but your ear can make anything even. The most dominant person on this bass is the P pickup because it is active. But I tell you what, the sound and the quality that's coming out of this bass is unbelievable. Do I want to sell you, girl? Yes, I do! Because I want to invent more stuff. So, of course, you know this is a sub bass. See, it's a sub. And it's got great stuff in it. It's got a good pick set of pickups in it. Got a great preamp in it. It's a great bass for a little bit of money. Maple on maple neck. Beautiful inside and out. A little bit of war paint. But she's still amazing. Sweet. Shiny Lee Long. Shada Kaka. Shada Kaka. And Hootie. Say Shada Kaka, Hootie. Shada Kaka. <laughs> we out. Peace.